be quick to listen, slow to speak. When you do speak, speak authoritatively, but speak authentically. You don't have to have all the answers. Cronkite never pretended to have all the answers. He was surrounded by people who would get him the answers or the information. That gets back to the young lady who I think is wearing a black uh, top over to what would be my right, who used the word resourceful. Yes, you. <laughs> that, that's what resourceful is. Not necessarily getting it yourself, though. Telling others what to get, what you want, and how to get it, and then to bring it back to you. It's about instructing, guiding. Somebody said teaching. I think they were over to the left in the center. That's what I mean by resource. That's what Cronkite would have meant by resourceful or by teaching. Guiding them, you're already a senior. You, you sort of know how to do it. That does not mean you have to do it all yourselves. Your brand is partly to be a guide, a light, but also to be demanding, but also to be about yourselves, confident, to also project that. Because as you project that, both to the staff, you're projecting it to the advisor. And that's also going to trickle right up to other faculty. And they're going to be able to see, and they will talk about you. They'll say, what an interesting job that person is doing. What an impressive job that person is doing. What an impressive person that individual is becoming. We always knew they were smart, but look at them. Look at them now, how they're changing. Because they're beginning to understand it's about brand. Now, as you get into Ohio, or whatever fine school you're going to go to, parentheses, none as fine as Ohio, parentheses, you're going to be sitting with kids just like yourselves, but three or four times as many, and if you take that to other journalism schools around the country, hundreds of times as many. And what makes you different from each of them or any of them? What makes you distinctive? You're all talented. You all have skills. You all have Photoshop and Final Cut and Adobe, whatever. Those are, those are, those are nice. Oh, and by the way, I hate nice. Was that a question? Did someone have a hand up? Oh, okay. I think it was a blur. A blur. Well, I'm a blur. What makes you distinctive from all those other kids? How, would, if I were a news director, as I have been, why would I hire you over the person next to you? Anyone have a thought? Because I'll proceed with the answer, but I'd love to know what you think. Why would you deserve to be hired rather than the person next to you? How do I make a choice? You all have great degrees. You all have great resumes. Why you? Anyone want to throw an answer out? By all means, please, go right ahead. Experience? Yeah, that's nice, but you're all going to have pretty much the same experience, four years of college. So, yeah, some of you will be more productive than others. Some of you will do more pieces than another. Yes, lady in blue than the gentleman in black. Um, any uh, better leadership skills? Yeah, you're on the right track. You're on the right track. Who can, uh, gentleman in black, who can embellish on what she just uh, said? Hold on, lady in the gentleman in black, then you in the blue plaid. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead then. Familiarity with their work. Familiarity, yeah, but I, not enough because I'll see all of your work. You'll all send me a DVD. So, no, that just doesn't, that just simply enables me to compare you to you. How will I make my decision? Yes, sir. It says, uh, someone who's charismatic. Yes, charism charisma and pizzazz. Yes, absolutely. That poppy, that popping sort of right off the screen. Yeah, that's important. How do you get that? How do you, that's, that's not just about acting, though. That's not just about sort of I'm here, I'm on. How would you do that? Okay, that's process. That's how you're going to get there. Real good. That's how you're going to do it. But I'm looking for, I'm looking for a little bit more. As the news director, I have all of these incredibly talented applicants. 
Hey, and by the way, that would even apply within Ohio, whether you're applying to the TV station or the radio station or the newspaper or the magazines. All of you are in competition with people who are equally talented uh, individuals. So what makes, what, what would be a criteria about yourselves that I might be looking for as the manager? How the heck am I going to decide? Yes, uh, young lady in the black. From your personality and like confidence in yourself and your ability. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Exactly. You nailed it. I'm done. It's all of what you're saying is your sense of self. The sense of how of who you are and how you project yourself, which is, hey, here's the word of the day, your brand. You've got it. It's how it's how it's the only measure that I have other than the quality of your work. I mean, if I have two people and one can't write and one can, well, that's a pretty easy decision. Unfortunately for you all. Everything that you do from today on, you're measured against people who both can write and someone else who can write. Someone who can perform, someone else who can report and perform. So you're really measured, you're, you're going up against people who are every bit as talented as you yourselves. So what makes the distinction? It's your sense of yourself. What are you bringing to me? What are you putting yourself on the line for? as the reporter, as the editor, as the individual. How will I know that I can count on you? How will I know that you've not just got the smarts, because I'm sure you're all smart. Smart's not enough. But that you know how to use it, you know how to distinguish between being bright and being intuitive, between being smart and being resourceful, between being um, just a good reporter and someone who pushes themselves for more because, just like Cronkite, they want to be the very best reporter in America, the very best editor that they can be, that they are demanding of others and they're building their own brand as part of the process. It's an interesting question. I think some of you are probably thinking, oh, well, this is not something you have to worry about right now. And as I'm closing, I'm suggesting that it is exactly something that you should be starting to think about. It's not something you're going to be taught in class. Ha <laughs> that'd be nice. It's not something you're going to be graded on. It's something you're going to grade yourselves on. In a sense, in leadership, you're going to be challenging yourself. You're going to be challenging authority. You're going to be challenging the conventional wisdom. Conventional wisdom is, oh, well, we've always done it this way, so we should continue. To which I'd say, why? The question you might want to ask almost about everything that you do as editors and stories, why? Why are we doing this? Why do we care? Why does this matter? One of the great definitions of news, and it comes from a gentleman who actually worked with Cronkite and was Cronkite's boss. You know, we all have the definition of who, what, when, where, etc. cetera. The, 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 the standard definition of news. The definition from Gordon Manning, who was a vice president of CBS News, is one that I actually think is really better, and I share it with you as we close up. He would ask the definition of news or a news story to him was, who cares, why cares, and why cares now? Who cares, why cares, and why cares now? Interesting, interesting changes the question a little bit, rather than just who, what, when, where, why, or how. It puts it onto you, what does this matter? Why should anyone be bothered with it? How do I make it have life? How do I bring more to that story as an editor, as a reporter, than it might ordinarily have had? So, as Cronkite, curiosity, courage, traits certainly of great journalism. Just time for you to think about all this because you have incredibly you're, you're, you're becoming powerful, and inherent power comes to you as editors. And the question that I just wanted to throw out to you was, how are you going to use it? Not just how are you going to be important, but how are you going to be successful based on this power that you've been given? And ultimately, how is that going to manifest or change you as individuals?